Introduction to AWS Code Pipeline. What is CI CD? It is automation of building, testing, and deployment of your applications. In other words, automating your release process. Primary components of such a process are code repository, building, deploying, and your deployment targets. This process may be kicked off based on events. An example of an event would be a code check-in into the code repository. And as a result of that, a build might be initiated. So all of this put together is called a CI CD pipeline. CI CD is implemented on AWS with AWS code pipeline. Code pipeline is a bundle of fully managed AWS services that builds, tests and deploys your code. Before we understand how an AWS code pipeline works, let's review some important terms. Stages, actions, and artifacts. Stages are logical units in an AWS code pipeline. A pipeline would have a minimum of two stages. First stage would be a source stage followed by one or more stages. A stage is made up of one or more actions. An action is simply an operation that is performed on an artifact. Actions within a stage can run in a sequence or in parallel. Every action has an action category and an action provider. Here is a list of action categories and providers. Every action category has available providers to choose from. For example, for action category source, you could choose amongst providers AWS Code Commit or GitHub. For build, you could use AWS Code Build or Jenkins and so on. Whenever you add an action to a stage, you must choose an action category and the provider. Artifacts are collection of data. Application source code, compiled applications, dependencies or templates are all examples of artifacts. Now that we understand important terms, let's look at the code pipeline. Let us see how stages and action providers make up a pipeline. The first stage of AWS code pipeline is always source. The action provider here could be an Amazon's Git repository that is AWS code commit or an external repository on GitHub. We will go with AWS code commit here. For the build state action, we will choose AWS code build action provider. Note that you can even skip this stage and go straight to deployment stage. AWS code build is a service or an action provider that can compile code, run tests, and produce packages ready to deploy. As a part of its setup, you will be required to write a buildspec.yaml file. We will learn more about it soon. For the deploy state action, we will choose AWS code deploy as our action provider. It is a fully managed deployment service that automates software deployments to computing services such as Amazon EC2, ECS, Lambda, and your on-premise servers. As a part of its setup, you will be required to write a app spec YAML file. We will learn more about it soon. You may want to deploy your application to staging environment first. Once satisfied with its features and stability, you could deploy it to production, possibly after manual approval, in which case you would add an approval stage 2 to this pipeline. So this is what your AWS code pipeline looks like. Remember the build spec and app spec YAML files we referred to earlier? Let's look at them. A build spec file is a collection of build commands and related settings that AWS code build uses to run a build. This file is expected to be present in the source code root directory by default. Here we see its basic structure. It has a bunch of phases and commands under them. You can write any command that your build platform will understand. This should give you an overall idea of the structure of a build spec file. App spec file is used by code deploy to manage deployments. The structure of app spec file will vary based on your deployment target. Here is a fragment of sample app spec YAML file for EC2 on-premise deployments. The file section has information on 
source and destination deployment files and directories the hook section has lifecycle event scripts so this was a quick overview of aws code pipeline this should help you get started with ci cd on aws